Okay, hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the top apps for Android. Now, the first one up is All-in-One Toolbox, so this is really good, and you can actually clean files, boost files, and also you get a toolbox in here with some additional features. So if we go into the clean option, we get standard, and we get advanced, and basically standard mode is to clear your cache of, you know, just your standard... Um, in apps, in inbuilt apps, and also your web browser, stuff like that. And advanced is a little bit more, it goes through kind of all of your apps and clears the caches um, and stuff like that. So this can also clear APKs, uh, APK files as well, if you have any left over in your downloads folder. So as you can see, I cleared 2.47 gigabytes. So this does work quite well. Now in the advanced mode, we can actually um, clear the cache, browsing history, clipboard history. Um, so this is really useful, really cool, and it's just really good how it's all in the one app. So we, we also get the boost feature, which um, which is really handy. I mean, we can boost our apps, um, which is cool. And then in the toolbox, we get batch install, batch uninstall, backup and restore, system app uninstall, app to SD card, boost speed up, startup customization, and file manager. Um, so we also get a plugins tab um, just across here which I don't really know what you can get. And this is kind of just junk. So yeah, but overall it's really good and I do use it quite often. Um, and if you're root, you do get this system app uninstall option there. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely check it out. Okay, coming up number two is um, one of my favorites is AVG antivirus software. Now basically, um, this is one of the new antivirus kind of softwares and it's really good and really useful. Now, if you have a Samsung, keep in mind you can get this completely free from the Galaxy App Store. Um, well, while in, in the Play Store, it is, I believe, $2.99 or maybe $4.99. So I would definitely go check it out if you're a Samsung user in Galaxy Apps. So True Backup is really good as well. It's one of the only backup um, apps that actually backs up thoroughly through every kind of um, piece of data you have on your phone. So it goes through many things. And you can actually choose where you want to back it up. So you can choose Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud, um, anywhere like that, even Office 365. So yeah, it's really cool. You can back up and also you can download and restore. So yeah, there we go. There's my Dropbox account that I've got it linked to. So it's really good. Okay, coming up next is actually a little bit different. And this one is... Um, basically an emulator for PSP games. So you can download any PSP game you want. From a really good site, I know, you can get multiple emulator games from for all different types of emulators. Um, and that's called Cool ROMs, which I will show you. But this app does have many options. You can change all like, the graphics options and stuff like that. Audio options, control options, you know, basic system options and stuff like that. So it is really good. Now this site, Cool Roms, basically allows you to get many games for many emulators out there. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. As you can see, we have multiple emulators right here. And if we just click on Game Boy Color, we will... Uh, let's, let's try Browse by Letter and then go F. So um, we got these apps here which you can download and then you can just open them in um, whatever emulator you have. So up next is Aptoid. Now this app is really good and it's really similar to the Play Store um, UI wise. It looks very similar apart from it's orange. And um, basically it's the same but you get everything free. So there is no apps you need to pay for. So if you want to get a free app you can get it from here. But keep in mind some apps do need a license key. So not every single app will work. But most apps will. So Grand Theft Auto, for example, the new one won't work, but the old one will, as they've introduced a new license key. Um, so if it doesn't come up here, you can actually click the show in, show other stores, and it will bring you to the web browser. Um, and then you can find them there if it doesn't show up in the first, in the app. Um, so yeah. Coming up next is G Whale, and this is also kind of another um, hefty app that you might want to keep. And this basically allows you to download songs for you. So you can get songs, albums, playlists, artists, stuff like that. And you can simply get them free here. So I've just typed in Rap God. There's the songs. There's the albums. You got artists there. And on the other side, we have playlists. So it's really good and handy. And I definitely check this out. You can download it. And it will instantly go into your music player. Um, all of these are from the app. I've, every song I've got is from the app. So yeah. And it comes with the album art. Okay. So next up is actually really cool, and this is Photoshop Touch. Now, this is $2.99, but I did show you Aptoids, so 
I'm not saying anything really, um, but I'm just saying, you know, you can check it out in there, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, if we just open this, we can just import a photo. I'm not sure what this is, but I will I will just import it. Um, oh, it's Sheldon Cooper and me. So we can actually customize this quite a bit, and we can add some saturation um, or decrease some. You know, and it's just very useful if you... If you're the Photoshop kind of guy and you just want it kind of portable on the go, you don't want to bring your laptop around with you, it's really handy. So up next is one of my favorites, and this is my mail. Now, I use this on a daily basis, uh, mostly because it's easy to switch between your user usernames, um, between your different accounts, and yeah, it's just very simple, and I like the UI, I like the circle kind of thing, it's just really easy to use. Um, so I do really love this, and it's my main mail uh, app right now. So yeah, I've got all my accounts right here, and it's just so simple, I just love it so much. There's something about it which is just nice, and you can get it on iOS and Android. Okay, so next up is actually my main launcher. This is Nova Launcher, and I've got my theme on right now, which is Moonshine. Now this is really cool, and you can get a wallpaper, uh, you can get wallpapers in this app. I got my wallpaper from it, and all my icons are from that pack. So you can change app animations and app speeds and stuff. I've got my Android L app animation on, as you can see. If I press the home button, it goes down. Um, so it's really cool, and I do love this app. So yeah, and up next is Google Rewards. Now this is basically just um, an app which gives you surveys and you get money for doing them. So yeah, check it out. So that's pretty much it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm <laughs> sorry.